and a wild boulder adventures into a deep dark cave. The second and last crack we visited in the Lake District was Karak Fell. It has some amazing boulders and it lies close to Ben Kathra, one of the Lake District's most emblematic mountains. It was my first time climbing in this area and one of the things that stood out the most for me was the actual rock, the gabbro, a type of rock I hadn't even heard of. The friction on it is so good that it's almost guaranteed that you'll split your skin. The crack itself is a boulder field situated in a mountain fell, which is kinda hard to navigate through so it's best if you go with someone who's been there before. After a couple of warm up climbs I jumped on Lone Crusader, a nice V7 that I somehow managed to flash. It starts in a crack that leads up to some small edges and then you have to reach out for the lip and traverse it right to top out. A bit of a shame I couldn't film it in a way to get the whole backdrop in, it was such an amazing view. Next up was Lost in Space, a V9 one move wonder that I tried to climb but I didn't get too far on. I'd say it's basically a one move V9 that starts on tiny edges where you have to power yourself up to a hidden low percentage crimp. If you hit it right, happy days, if not, you won't be able to climb it at all. After this crimp you get to a jog and then it's all over. I tried my best to stick it a few times but I got defeated fairly quickly. Just on the right of it there is Toe Jam and Earl, another V9 block that traverses the boulder from left to right, finishing up on Lone Crusader, the first problem we tried. Despite being the same grade, I found this block to be a bit more fair than the previous one as it has more moves and they aren't as hard. Still, there was one move I couldn't get myself through. After throwing your toe and catching an undercling just like a modern comp block, you have to reach out to the undercling with your hand, a move that felt literally miles away. And that was a bit sad because after you pass this move, you get to some juggy underclings where you can rest and then you connect with the V7 I had already done. But I guess... You can't always get what you want. Despite the rock being extraordinarily sharp, I somehow managed to not split my skin, which was a win at this point after trying as hard as I could in this couple of blocks. Still, I was keen to get shut down by more blocks, so we try a couple more before leaving. This little roof which I don't remember the name of and this other 7B on which I didn't manage to get really far. I guess this is the reality of bouldering most of the time at least on my experience and although flashing V7 is cool it doesn't really account for the actual bouldering experience where I'm struggling and kissing the ground 90% of the time. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this little vlog, if you want to support my channel please like the video, comment and subscribe.